So what does a food scientist really do? Um, to put it simply, we make the food that you love and the food that you love that we make, we make sure it doesn't kill you. So. <laughs> People think that food science is all about cooking. Firstly, that's not true. You do a bit of cooking, but the science behind food science is one of the most important things. There's a little bit of microbiology, a little bit of organic chemistry. You're going to get a little bit of experience with engineering. But at the end of the day, it all has to do with food. So it's a lot of fun to be able to do. It's an applied science. So when you have something to apply it to, like food, it makes it easier because you're taking something that you understand and you're marrying it with something that you don't quite understand. So it just makes that experience much easier. So a really happy memory for me is taking the dairy processing course. At this point, I was, I was pretty interested in dairy, but I wasn't sure if that's what I was going to do. But going through that dairy processing course and just learning a lot about milk and cheese, and my favorite part about that course actually was that we got to make cheese every single week, and we got to take it home, and we got to eat it, and it was delicious. The food science department at Oregon State is a very small community and because of that we all become friends very quickly. We all get to know each other very quickly and it's not very long before everybody knows your name and the office people know your name and everybody walking down the hall sees you or walking across campus and they see you and they know exactly who you are. So it's this small intimate department that everybody knows everybody and it's, it's a really good feeling to be able to be there and support each other and to be able to talk about food. We also have sort of impromptu uh, parties that faculty holds just a few times in the year where there's just a bunch of food and everybody gets together and it's a lot of fun. Moving here was one of the headaches experience of my life as well. Um, it was a bit stressful the first few months. Maybe like being away from home, the stress of being away from my parents got to me. But people here are one of the friendliest people I've ever met. Everyone is welcoming, willing to help you with any difficulties you have. And the food science program is really great. The people here are amazing. The professors are great, willing to help you with anything. And yeah, it's been fun so far. I feel like if you get involved in a lot of activities, um, be in classes, make friends from your classes, it will be a great experience for you. So the people that are in the food science department here are very diverse. We have a lot of people that have traveled internationally to come to school here. We have some students from Malaysia, from uh, the Middle East, and we also have older students. We have people that have worked as chefs for more than a decade and then they decided to come back to school. We have uh, some people that already got a degree in something else, but they decided to come back and do a post-baccalaureate and get a food science degree as well. Of course, we have students that came to school right after they finished high school as well, uh, but it's just a melting pot of a bunch of different types of people, and it's really fun. So my first year here, I lived in the freshman dorm because I was a transfer student. I had a roommate and she was really nice. Right now I live in the upper class dorm, Hall Cell Hall. It's a really great environment. We have the study lounges there. You can go in and study anytime you want. The RAs are there and they're really helpful. It is not hard to find housing. Um, it can, there's a range of expense. I know if you are willing to drive a little bit and live in Albany, it can be very cheap. If you live in Corvallis, it can be a little more expensive to live on the south side, so south of Reeser, but there's lots of apartment complexes there. Uh, there's also Dirksen and Dirksen. They are a very large housing uh, group, really, and they have lots of opportunities for housing from all different price ranges. So as long as you just pick one of their lists up from one of the other many as well, that you can find housing.
To get around town and campus is very bike friendly. I've been biking the last four years on mine and I live all the way up on the north side, which is not very far. You can get anywhere really on campus in 10 minutes on your bike or skateboard if you prefer. You can walk as well, it just takes a couple more minutes. We also have public transportation for the bus that is free and it does many stops all around campus and also can get you to downtown easily. The campus is located in this wonderful spot where you can easily go to the beach in 45 minutes and spend this day out at the ocean, or you can just go for two hours up into the hills during the wintertime and go skiing. Go hiking. There's also lots of little hikes to Mary's Peak and Bald Hill in Corvallis. We have lots of fun restaurants all, all over Monroe, which is right against campus. So you and your friends can go a lot of the time and then go get a bite to eat at different locations. Downtown, we have a lot of little cute waterfront you can do on the Willamette. You can walk around. A lot of the time we have the Saturday market as well. A lot of people think that it rains here 365 days out of the year. However, they couldn't be more wrong. It may rain a little bit in the wintertime where you might need to grab your raincoat or might need to grab your rain boots, but overall it's nothing that we can't handle. During springtime, it's just this beautiful 70 degree weather and, and you bring it brings out all of these wonderful green sceneries and the campus is full of flowers that as you're walking through, you can smell them and be involved in it. It's a wonderful feeling. When summer hits, it's just three to four months of just pure wonderful 85 degree weather where you can go outside and hike, you can enjoy the sceneries around you and you just want to be outside. During fall time, the campus is just full of these vibrant yellows and browns and oranges and it makes you want to be outside and the cool air just comes around and you just need a light jacket but you really don't experience that rain until winter hits. Just grab your umbrella and you're set. Making friends is going to be really hard. <laughs> That's what I'm joking. Um, like I said earlier, people here are really friendly. You just walk up to someone, say hi, and you're friends. It's not a very big deal making friends here. Also, it's easy to make friends in the dorms because you all are going through the same sort of things where you're trying to adjust to new college life and you're going through these pretty challenging courses when it comes to high school or um, probably community college. So whenever you need a study buddy as well, you will have one because there's a lot of people in the dorms that take very similar class classes than you do. As a student in the food science department, there are three different employment opportunities that you have while you can take classes. You can work at the creamery where you help make the beaver classic cheese. You can work in the sensory department where they do consumer taste test studies. And you can also work in the pilot plant helping make beer. Working in the department while taking classes is a great way to get relevant work experience. I work in the Century Lab and I definitely have that on my resume. We get to learn about food and how, to, how companies come up with food products and the steps they take to put this into the market, which I think is a really interesting thing. The food department actually has a lot of connections here. Um, our teachers still keep good connections with a variety of the industries from alcoholic to non to food and other beverages. We also have every year our FST career fair which brings lots of different big companies um, from big dairy names to AB InBev or people who know as Budweiser to Saputo and Glambia which are very large international dairy companies to even smaller ones that are known mostly in the Northwest such as Tillamook and Umqua and all of these come back every year and hire lots of students for internships and permanent positions and it's just it's very helpful that you know if you work hard and get through the program that you will get a job coming out. So since the department makes it very easy for you to get relevant work experience uh, while you're a student, it looks really good on resumes, it's, it gives you something else to talk about in interviews as well, and it just makes your experience as a student much, much more meaningful. So the Food and Fermentation Science Club here is a student-led uh, organization where we conduct events like industry tours, club brews, 
and workshops. So for industry tours, we go to tour some local businesses. We've also done industry tours in Bend and Portland, um, where you learn about different types of food and how it's made. And we also go to some breweries where we learn about how their products are made. You should enjoy doing the sciences. Chemistry is very important to be a food science student. Also, you should be very creative. Like, people come up with new foods every day. For you to actually do something for the industry, you should be creative. You should be a problem solver. People that would like studying food science are people that love food. Um, definitely, a lot of my friends in this major they tend to like plan what their uh, next meal is going to be when they're sitting in class. So if you have that sort of attitude towards food, if you love food in general, if food brings your friends together, um, if you watch a lot of cooking shows, definitely food science is for you.